Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed number two. We are were just about to go visit this mercenary who's got some information for us when I accidentally pushed the guy in the background and he started running. And he's in some sort of weird running loop right now where he's afraid of me so he runs away and he just kind of runs a lap around the background and then comes back and then he's like oh no it's that man who pushed me and then he runs back into the background and then he runs right and then left and then he runs back down the street and he's like oh no the man's still here <laughs> okay Over here, so Let's let's let the guy by. My horse kind of freaked him out too. Over here, right, let, yes, yes. What what do you have to tell us? We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Mm -hmm. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah, command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. Oh, come on, Ezio. What's wrong with a little sneaking and stabbing? So, with the help of Mario's mercenaries, sub subdue the villa guards and kill Francesco Salviati. Let us... Oh, we are... We are suddenly in a restricted area and we have a we have a few mercenaries that's good Ooh, I want to get rid of that big guy first so let's kind of run up and boom all right oh somebody somebody's noticed us and they're yelling at us what do you want okay so it is it's great to have these mercenaries here. They they kind of encircle the guards and just let me walk up behind them and, you know, put a sword in their ribs. It's perfect. I should always have a group of mercenaries with me. Who's yelling at me to get down? I'm not up somewhere. Oh. Alright, there's an archer up there. Alright, so he shot me with his bow. Don't worry. And... Oh, there's another one. He won't escape. Come on, get down there. Okay. Oh. I thought I had a nice air assassination there, but I guess not. Okay. So I need my peoples to stop for a moment. Oh, treasure. Get my mercenary peoples to stop. And then, what do we got? We got a group of guards right here. Uh oh. All right, and this should be the grounds pretty much cleared. And I think I can jump this wall. I can't do that. 
That's fine. You don't have to do that. I will do it for you. Ben, prepare yourself. The assassin has arrived. I need to find a way to open the gates. There are so many of them. Let's see if I can just stab these guys while they walk away from me. Yes. Uh-oh. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Uh-oh. I warned you to stay away, assassin. All right. Interact. Uh-oh. <laughs> they they found me. Oh no, there's another big boy. You got to go down first, man. You Templars. Are we singing the same song? There we go. You think a few will scare me? Who's this guy? Who's this guy with the you axe? Should. Shall I send your remains to that Ubriacone, Mario? <laughs> What's the point? There won't be anything left for you to recognize. It's quite a plan you have. Spouting nonsense while you send these other men to I am a reasonable man. What say you to this? Turn back now and I'll call off my men. Sorry, friend. You are on my list. Your fate is sealed. Okay, so... Let us I think this with guy with blood. the axe is no my target. I don't know why the guy with the axe has engaged me in battle, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. He looks like he's in, like, his pajamas, so... I don't know why he's fighting. Or where he got the axe from. The axe is bigger than he is. It's not like those brutes in the heavy armor. They're the ones who should have axes like that. Aha! Where is Jacobo? He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. La fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. Okay. So we have completed the mission without the help of the mercenaries. Well, we kind of had some help from them. Just a little bit. Now, you are next. So we need to get this viewpoint, and then we'll get this viewpoint, and then we will get the next mission. I wonder if our horse is still following us. I don't see a horse. Okay, well that's fine. There's gotta be a horse somewhere. Maybe in this town? Aha, yes, there's one right here. Hey guys, I'm borrowing your horse, sorry. I need him. I'll, I'll bring him back, unless... I can't find you, or I forget. Yeah. Alright. Well, we need to climb up. Yes, this works perfectly right here. Hey, it's our eagle friend. Is this horse? 
from no he's brown is he though I don't know he he looks black now nah, he's like brown he's brown and he doesn't have the spot it's just because we're in the in this moonlight under a tree I thought it was horse I was gonna be very excited that horse from Assassin's Creed 1 had somehow traversed time and space and was magically still alive in the Italian Renaissance for us to use and ride around on. Ooh, so we have another glyph here too. Monte Olver Oliverto? Okay, so let's get the feather. Then let's turn on Eagle Vision. We got a little bit of treasure over there. That's fine. We need to find a glyph. Hmm. Actually, is it, is it right here? No, it isn't. But I can't see all the way in there. Okay, I don't think it's in here. And there's some sort of clock type thing. What is this? Maybe it's down in this courtyard. Oops. Well, that's not quite what I intended to do. Can I climb back up here? Yes, I can. Perfect. I guess those crickets are having a little bit of a hard time. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so once again, no monologue from subject 16 before we begin. It's interesting how sometimes he wants to talk and explain to us the follies of the world, but other times he does not. Now, who is this next person that we have to assassinate? find out. One of our mercenaries is right over here somewhere. Right, right there. Hello. <laughs> A little delayed startle. There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. Take these. It's dangerous to go alone. So. Infiltrate the abbey and kill Stefano da Bagiano. So, oh, we got some smoke bombs. All right. Ooh. We got some um treasure. Kill your target before he takes refuge in the abbey. 
All right. Let us pray, brother. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. If you think the Lord has any interest in our affairs, you've another thing coming. But please, by all means, continue to delude yourself if it helps to pass the time. There you speak he is. No, I speak truth. But to deny his most exalted existence is the only rational response when All faced right. with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And believe me, if your right. precious so Bible is I've anything to go this by, guy. he's completely lost his mind. Boo. Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacobo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. The shadow of the Roman gods. What does that mean? Uh oh. Oh no. Ooh, treasure. Let's. I'm gonna try something. Let's throw a smoke bomb, and then we will loot this treasure while they are all choking, and then we can run away. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. <laughs> Okay, we need to find a horse. Now, where is a horse? Right here. Ooh, this one is black. But it does not have the white spot on its face that horse had either, so... I suppose it makes sense, but this is also not horse. Alright, let's hit this last viewpoint. I believe this is the last one in this area. And then from there we have two more missions. And we have a an um, assassin's tomb to visit. So, can you jump this? Oh. <laughs> that was interesting. He kind of got stuck between the fence and the wall. <laughs> Alright. I felt for sure that surface was textured enough for me to grab, but I guess it was not. Let's synchronize. Alright, I don't really need to jump into the hay, so let's kind of go over here. And let's check our map. Hmm. So we have this. This looks interesting. What is this? Oh! The Antico Ter Tritio Romano. So this is some... Like... Amphithe is this an amphitheater? Is... oh... That one was easy, guys. It's... come on. It's not even hidden. It's just right there out in the open. Alright. Every theft's hidden by the murders. People only see what they're trained to see. What the organization wants them to see. Yes. Like the media today. <laughs> okay. So. We need to go 
back into the town. We need to... Ooh, a corrupted official here. This is going to be a great way to lower my notoriety because it is kind of high right now. That's a funny outfit. Another mask tonight. Okay, I am incognito once again. I was apparently notorious, which that wouldn't do. We can't have that. Uh oh. Let's sit on the. Oh, I can't sit on the bench. Alright. We need to lose the guards here. Uh-oh. Get in the hay. Huh. They didn't see me. That's amazing. Hmm. This guy's really persistent. Okay. I got away without any notoriety whatsoever. Cool. No, you don't. Oh no. He was <laughs> he was angry immediately. Okay. He's getting away. I see him. There. All right. Let's start by taking a look at this assassin's tomb. Where is it, though? It's over here somewhere. It's right here. Actually, we haven't checked our database recently. Let's go and take a look at that. What do we have for recent entries? Wow, we have quite a few of them. Okay, so... <clears throat> these are all entries from Tuscany. We have the Tora Rugnosa, connected to the 13th century Palazzo Vicio del Pedestro the Toro Rugnosa rises 51 meters above Sam Gem Giniano. Pedostra, in power in English, was the title given to the appointed head of many Italian cities. The Palazzo Vecchio was the residence of the Pedostra of Sam Gem Giniano for about a hundred years until, the 13, until 1337. He moved across the square into the Palazzo Comunale. Why would the Padastro simply abandon tradition like that? Perhaps because the Palazzo Comunale has the largest tower in San Germaniano. Tower envy. Do not underestimate. It is a force for change. So he wanted a bigger tower, huh? Okay, so the Palazzo Comunale, San Gimiano's town hall, was built as the seat of the municipal government in 1288. As befit the City of Towers, one of the council's earliest acts inside their new home was to construct the Tor Grossa on top. The Podostras took up residence at the Palazzo Comunale in 1337. Next, we have the Santa Maria Assunata. So, referred to as the Duomo by locals, even though it doesn't deserve the title because the town has no bishop, the Santa Maria Assunata was built in the 12th century. Shockingly, it has no tower. Although in San Gimiano, the city of towers, such an act of celibacy coming from a church was probably a smart move. Yes. 
So we have the Tor del Divalo, probably built for medieval defense. The Tor del Diavolo once had a walkway at its summit. The wooden spikes around at the top held the boards of the walkway in place. Depending upon who you ask, the name the Devil's Tower came from either the fact that lightning once struck the tower or that the original owner left on a trip only to come back and find it slightly higher than when he left. Wait, was the, the guy slightly higher when he left or the tower? No, I read that right. Okay. The tower was slightly higher than when he left. Okay. So we have the Villa Salviati. Made wealthy through his connections to the Pope, Archbishop Francisco Salviati purchased this Tuscan villa in 1475 in anticipation of becoming Archbishop of Florence. He spent the next few years having it renovated in the Tuscan style while plotting with the Pazzi family to invade Florence. Sadly, this left him very little time to enjoy it because of his inevitable demise. After the conspiracy went south, a rival, oh, excuse me, archival documents indicate that the Salviati swapped his archbishop outfit with one of the residents of Florence, who was then lynched in his place while he escaped to his villa. How nice of him to sacrifice one of his friends for himself. Okay, so we have the Monte Alviato Maggiore. Founded in 1313 by Bernardo Ptolemy, Tol the monastery of Mont Alviato Maggiore is a Benedictine in practice. Benedictine monks are the most mainstream practicing peace, prayer, and work while living in autonomous communities with their own local government. Monte Alviato Maggiore owned most of the land in the Siena region, so having his own private government would come in handy when dealing with such riches, as would a good lawyer. Fortunately, Bernedicto Ptolemy Tol was a jurist leaving the monastery in very lucrative state by the time he died. Okay, that's, that's good. So we have the Antico Trito Romano, Inspired by Greek theater, which had similar structure, ruins of the ancient Roman theaters can be found throughout the territories once ruled by the emperor. Empire. Typical Roman theaters were constructed of concrete, a material no longer used in Renaissance Italy because the recipe had been lost. Their semicircular design created superior acoustics, allowing spectators to hear the plays, speeches, or choral events performed on stage. Notice the lack of marble. Renaissance Italians practice a rudimentary form of recycling when dealing with Roman structures. Any marble that could be found was ripped off the building and reused for free. Well, that's great that they reuse. They're very sustainable in their designs here. So the Torre Grossa, rising 54 meters above San Gim Giano, the, lar the city's largest tower. The Terra Grossa lives up to its name. Unlike some of the other towers, it has even has a bell inside. Construction on the Terra Grossa began in 1300 and finished in 1311. Cool. And with that, our database is once again up to, up to date. And now we can go inside the Palazzo Comunale and we can check out this assassin's tomb. Okay, so we've got some rats swimming away from us. We must infiltrate the Torre Grosse to find the assassin seal hidden within. Okay, at least 
there are no corpses this time. Oh. Hmm. Didn't really want to swim in this delectable looking water, but that's okay. Come on, Ezio. Climb up there, please. What do we do? Do we jump over this way? Aha! Yes, this is perfectly what we need to do. Then we can pull the lever. And we're in a wine cellar. With all sorts of Templar guards, it looks like. Hmm. All right, I did. I didn't catch all that, but we need to make our way. Oh, man! Uh oh, I'm losing. Uh oh. Wow! Look at the upper body strength on him. All right, where are the other ones? There's one over there. Can I get across here without getting in trouble? Yes. Where is he? He's right there. Okay, so I need to make my way over there. Uh-oh. No, you don't! Ali! Damn it! He's escaping! No, I'm not. I'm just kind of waiting here. Come get me. You can do it. I have faith in you. That it's a wonder. Or, it's a wonder. It's uh, obvious why these guards were just kind of standing around in a cellar instead of out on the battlefield. They kind of weren't really that helpful at all. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, I gotta go back over here and jump up here again. Because apparently I pressed the wrong button and Ezio decided it was time to jump in a random direction again. Okay, I want to jump across this time, Ezio. Thank you. And then we can climb under here. Now, I feel like I could w run up the wall and just kind of jump onto this, but I guess not. What's up here? It's a guard, huh? Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh. Really? That's you. You're useless sometimes, you know that? Alright. Oh. Treasure over here. Found a secret area. Ezio's treasure senses must have been tingling. There we are. This looks nice. Is it going to be 250 florins, or are they going to give us a decent amount this time? Nope. Okay, just 250 florins. That's fine, I suppose. We can deal with 250 florins. We are gonna rob... Ooh, a guard. We're gonna rob more by the time we're done, I'm sure. Hmm. So, I'm climbing up. 
and getting to that door. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let's... Let's get him to come around the corner. There we go. <laughs> we wouldn't want him to have alerted all the other guards. I don't want to mess with this big boy. I'll stab him in the back, but that's about the extent I want to be dealing with him. Alright. Now, I'm supposed to do something with these, I think. What's going on up here? We have one guard. We have two guards. I bet I can assassinate this guy from the ledge, though. Drop him to the ground. Ah, he walked away. Let's just, let's just hang out here for a second, see if they make a trip back around. Yes, this guy is. Uh. Didn't even notice. Take that. Ezio, you're so sneaky. Now, can I... What? How do, what do I do? I don't think I really need to be up here. I think... Uh, I think I want to jump from these. Uh-oh. 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 He's mad at me, and I don't have any way of getting him. If he wants to, he could just, you know, uh, uh, throw a rock at me, and then I'd be... I'd be out of luck. Uh. Hey. Echolo, where the hell did... Did you see which way he went? I see him! No, you don't. You don't see me. I'm not here. He will scream like a little girl while we play him. Like a little girl, huh? Clear the way! Must have been nothing. <laughs> oh boy, that's... I suppose that's what you get for just deciding that, eh, you know. Huh. So is this the inside of the tower? It's just literally this mess of stuff. There's that nothing actually here. Get down, Stronzo. I'm not here. I'm a figment of your imagination. wonder if I can just jump across. Nothing here. Back to the yeah. Door. That's right. So now, just keep climbing. Oh, Ezio! That wasn't. Ooh. Whew. I thought I was going all the way down to the bottom there. But I guess not. Ah, oh, really? Come on, Ezio. You can grab it. It was within your reach. Right there. That's what I tried to do the first time. Oh, okay. So there's a guard that I need to take care of. 
I will dare. Let's pick him up. We wouldn't want someone to come walking through here and see this guard. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Oh no. No. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I suppose that's karma for you. I throw a guard off and then because I messed with the guard after stabbing him, I Ezio just, you know, jumps into the abyss. <sighs> okay. I like all these nice little uh, handholds everywhere. It's almost like they knew someone would need to climb up here. All right. Where am I going now? To the side? Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, the spear guy. Was... I think this guy was the ancient Chinese guy. Wei... Wei Yu or Wei Shen or, or something like that. I'm, I'm probably just making it up. I can't remember. We'll find out, though. Because at some point we will have to return to the villa to... place these seals. We have three of the six right now. And we will exit through the hatch. This is how we find ourselves at the top of the Toro Grossa, the tallest tower, I believe, in the land, maybe? I think that's what the thing said. I'm pretty sure that's what the thing said. Alright, into the hay with you. And here's our next objective. Oh no. We have the Tora del Salvucci. Did we already get that one? Hmm. I want to go check my database. The Torre Grossa. So the Torre del Salvucci is in fact a new landmark. In a city famous for its towers, the Salvucci family in a display of 13th century might erected not one, but two. And not only did they erect two, they built them to be taller than the ruler of San Gemiano's, the Pedostra's tower. Despite a law made in 1255 that prohibited such an act of blatant brick and mortar style aggression. Outraged, the Pedostra forced the towers to be cut down until they were smaller than his. Okay, so... So, people in the city are fighting about whose tower is taller than the others. Stay away from me! 
Oh, hello. Huh. <laughs> that was not the intent. I did not mean to kill him. Oh. And we have the... The... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? The glyph right here. I don't know how I'm supposed to get there, but it's right there. Okay, so now that I've dealt with the guard, maybe we can climb up here and then jump over to this? No. What about climbing or maybe jumping from here? No. So then my last... Actually, maybe I want to be down just a little bit. And then I can climb right there. Because it looks like this wraps around. Yes. Yes, here's the way we do it. All right. Something was up there. Something abandoned long ago. So this one's going to be really interesting when we go through and solve all of these. Nice moves. Let's heal real quick. Heal now. And then fill our medicine pouch. That's it. Come back if you need. I will come back when I need you. Probably not to you, though, because who knows if I'll be in this area again. Alright, everybody. So, next time when we return, we will continue with our quest to find uh, Jacopo de Pazzi. And our quest will begin with this guy. So, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.